What is going on guys? Welcome back. We are finally, finally home from this past weekend's event out at Indiana at the Ultimate Call Out Challenge. Uh, we got in super late, 2.30, 2, 2, 3 o'clock last night. Uh, slept a couple hours right to work. Now we are at the shop. So uh, we did have to skip out a little bit early from the sled pulls on Sunday, uh, but I do have a couple clips from that. <laughs> But it was a super, super awesome time out there this weekend. I loved meeting you guys. It seems like I still missed a lot of you guys. So uh, next year, who knows, maybe we'll have to uh, have a booth out there. A lot, biggest question of the entire weekend from people that I did meet um, is maybe we'll be competing next year. I don't know. The UCC, the ultimate call out challenge is um, no joke. No joke uh, by any means. If you guys were there, witnessed any of the videos, you guys know that those guys sacrifice and work on their vehicles a lot. It is not easy by any means. So whether or not we will ever consider competing in that, who knows? Who knows? I, I don't know. I'm not even thinking about that. We have a lot to get caught up on. We are still getting back into the swing of things, getting home, getting caught up with Shop work, work work, um, spending time with Allie, homework, um, you know, hanging out with Reagan. Um, so today might be a little bit shorter. Today might be bouncing all over the place. I really just want to try and work on a couple random things uh, on the 05. Uh, when we did get the exhaust situated last week or so, uh, a couple of you guys pointed out the fact that we didn't have any flex section in that um, and the fact that we have a stack with a bed. Um, I'm gonna add a piece of flex to the exhaust that way we don't have any issues with a downpipe flange or anything else we're just going to take an even shorter section of that maybe half of that and throw it in the exhaust we're going to start with that um i don't even know where do we leave off with this girl um i did actually get in our three to three and a half adapter here i already got that stuff situated here that didn't take super super long so our hot side pipe is on and done i'm gonna get the fleece intake on and also, also what I want to do is, besides get the cold side intercooler pipe on, is try and do a couple logs. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of computer stuff here with how you're going to log through HP tuners. EFI Live is pretty similar, but I'm going to bring you guys all the way from an email, um, not so much tune, but an email that has our configuration of the monitor stuff that we're going to look at, um, how to download that, how to actually log with it. So we're going to get to that later on in this evening. So that is the goal. First gen over here, still looking good as always with its bug fascia here. We need to wash that off. What I also want to get done today too is taking these breather lines to our catch can from our valve cover, uh, get those remade. You guys know that we're going to be using the black 
braided hose that have been stretching out over here. We're gonna be using that, so we're gonna swap out those lines. So really just a couple uh, little projects that'll probably take me much longer than I anticipate. The last little tidbit of information that I wanna give you guys as well, just a reminder is today, today by the end of the day, is the last chance to get entered in the WrenchWorks giveaway. Head over to WrenchWorks.com, check all that stuff out. Anything you want, get it now, get yourself entered in the giveaway because towards the end of the week or beginning of next week, we are gonna be drawing winners for the cash prizes, for the air dog winners, um, today's your last chance. So fair warning there. Up next is the event list, because everybody always asks me about events and stuff, um, so I don't mess up the dates. May 19th, not this weekend, the following weekend is Dirty Diesel's Spring Truck and Dyno. If you guys want to dyno your trucks, you want to come hang out, um, they are actually reserving like the truck show parking. So I think the best way to do this is, it's Dirty Diesel's Spring Truck meet dino day go to their facebook page make sure you guys gonna register you have to register to get on the dino all of the slots will be filled i can guarantee you that but i think there's still some open don't go to the event expecting just to hop on there so go register get registered if you want to park your truck in the show parking um, but we will be there we'll have the wrench work set up um ali will be out there um, i think the whole entire crew is going to be out there um next next i think the Two weekends after that, May 1st, is Daytona Truck Meet, which um, I'm still figuring out some logistics, but I am about 99% sure that we will be there for Daytona Truck Meet, also with a setup inside the show. We are gonna be bringing this old girl, hopefully, I think. There's no reason why we shouldn't, but we're gonna bring this thing down there. We're gonna make the trip um, and just hang out. Just hang out with you guys. I've mentioned it time and time again. Um, I just have so much fun hanging out with you guys, talking with you guys, talking about your trucks, stuff like that. I mean, you guys listen to me all day, every day. Um, I just wanna hang out with you guys, so it should be a good time hanging out down at Daytona. I mean, come on, it's Florida, the weather's nice. It's actually starting to get really, really nice out, but it is now time to get some work done. All right, making some good progress this evening. Uh, exhaust is all done, all tight. Flex pipe situation handled. Uh, should not have a problem with anything being too rigid now. Uh, got the fleece intake. This is done, complete, everything's tight. Got the hot side intercooler pipe, that is now 100% completely done. Got the driver side intercooler pipe completely all done in there. Um, unfortunately, you kind of have to cock these clamps a little bit different. They can't stay the same because of because of some room situation here. But those are done. Those are tight. Um, the only thing left on our list besides uh, the tuning part of this is the breathers, which will then come down to our vibrant catch can down here, and we're gonna handle those. Luckily, luckily, we have our nice Harvey the Jaws to handle our AN lines now. So if you didn't know what these were before, what happens is you stick your line in here, I'm trying to do it one-handed, spin Harvey out a little bit, stick them in here like so, kind of clamp it down like that, that'll squeeze it nice, won't nick up the lines, and then you can use your open-ended wrench to spin off that top, and we can start putting on the black hose. Alrighty, there they are. Breathers are all done. We're just gonna zip tie them there in the middle here, right to the catch can. Check it off the list. All right guys, so the last thing of this evening that I wanna show you guys, uh, this is on HP tuners, but EFI Live, some of this will be relevant. So say you want a data log, say you might be having a problem with your truck, you wanna get the most out of your truck, uh, what you need to do is you know, kind of log your truck, if possible, send that to your tuner so he can make some revisions. So what's gonna make that a lot easier now, uh, the parameters that you can log uh, for some of these platforms are a lot. Now, whether that's all necessary, really not, and it really slows down I guess creates a bigger file when you log things that don't really need to be logged. So uh, what we have here is parameters. These are from HPP. They were sent to Michael. Michael emailed them to me. Uh, these are 03, and I'm sorry, this is just on the laptop in the truck, sitting in the shop, so it's kind of blurry. 03 to 05 Cummins PID list, the parameters that we're gonna look at for 03, 05 on HB tuners. That way we can log this and then send it to Jonathan and he can make some revisions. So what we're gonna do is click on this, you're gonna download that, you're gonna save that as I did over here. 
uh, in your downloads. You can kind of see right here, 0305, that downloaded. What you're going to do then is get out of there, look at this lovely background screen. Again, this is not my laptop, but um, we're going to go through and get our VCM scanner over here. And I have to give credit to Michael. I did call him right before I did all of this. So um, you can kind of see over here, this is some generic stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this little icon up here in your upper left-hand corner. Open chain. Mm, come on. Open channel config. Go down to your downloads. Click on that. Open. And now, as you can see, we have a whole different um, parameter. You can kind of see all of this stuff for the fuel over here. Uh, injection timing, all that fuel rate. A lot of this stuff is going to have to do with the fuel, um, throttle position, stuff like that. These are the things, engine speed, engine RPM. Um, and this is basically going to show, like, you know, the desired fuel, the actual fuel, things like that. Give this what we're going to do when we connect to the vehicle. This will all be uh, lit up over here. Start scanning. And then the next button over here when we are connected is going to be stop scanning. Then that will do is save your log. Uh, basically, this has to be hooked up from your OBD2 port while you're either going down the track, while you're idling, whatever you may want to be doing. So um, same basic principle for EFI Live, different platform, maybe a little bit different, but overall the same. Get your uh, parameters that you need, that, the, that your tuner wants, and log them so you can have a perfect fine-tuned well-oiled machine so if you are having a problem guys if you are having a problem with your truck you gotta log it you gotta log it don't just blame this or that you might have a hard part you might have a my phone constantly you might have some parts that are causing the problems it may not just be in the tuning so this is a must have necessity when you're trying to do fun crazy stuff or have an issue so anyway hope that helps so much for an early night. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Everybody is pretty much in bed already, so you guys can't even say hello to them. But successful day. Everything was checked off the list. Just got done sending the log file off to HPP. Took me quite a while to actually find out where. that was. This was the first time lo uh, logging on this computer. So sometimes they save the logs in a really odd spot. So it took me a while to find that. But done. That's checked off the list. Uh, we'll see what he comes back with. Um, but that's gonna do it. It was awesome meeting all you guys. I look forward to meeting all you guys, you know, at all the upcoming events. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on more of those. Head over to wrenchworks.com. Last day, last chance. Um, not like we won't have anything past this, but last chance to get entered in on the giveaway. So as always, thank you guys for your support. I know this video might have been a little all over the place. We'll get back to our normal schedule as always. Keep the schedule full. Keep the videos coming. Um, and that's it, guys. Love you. See you. Bye.